Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not, and today we are going to be talking about something that was told to me by a subscriber earlier today, because he apparently went on to their website, and there is a brand new description that says that the current price that is sitting here for the standard edition is now considered a discount, pre-sale rate of 20% off, for the June early access price of $49.99, and 33% off of the release price, which is $59.99, so... As it stands now, Ready or Not is sitting at about $40 American, but apparently what they're going to do is push it up as soon as the beta comes out, and then when release comes out sometime in either Q4 of 2020 or early 2021, then they're going to push it up to a full $60 game. So this is really interesting to me because, you know... the when it goes $60, like, I expect, like, a AAA experience, you know? Is Void Interactive going to be able to turn Ready or Not into a AAA experience? I don't know. I mean, I find it interesting because the investor would always say that they're an indie team, but they're making a AAA game. I guess they're really serious about that because now they're going to price it at 60 bucks. I don't know how to feel about that. One thing's for sure, they weren't very transparent about that. Like, it just kind of showed up on the website one day. And to me, this almost feels like price fixing, but I, I don't think it actually fits that criteria. But if there's somebody that's more into the legal stuff could you tell me if that's price fixing I, I don't think it is but um you know you never know so i mean i guess if you really want to get ready or not at a good price now would be the time but i don't know if i like that because they're basically gonna you know force the consumer to think harder about whether or not they want to buy into the game now or later i mean i really can't say for sure if ready or not is actually going to be worth 60 dollars at that time but what i can say now is that 40 dollars is much more reasonable than 60 but i really find it interesting how that is actually going to be a thing. You know, if I remember correctly, they actually did say that they were going to do something like this. Yeah, I remember getting an email from a subscriber a long time ago where they said that, um, I'll post it on the screen if I, re if I remember to find it. But yeah, they were basically going to do exactly what this says here, pretty much. Like, what you're seeing on the screen is not the exact thing. Like, it was just kind of like a test sort of thing. I believe this was also sent by JR, but I, I, I don't remember. The person that sent it to me wasn't actually showing off who sent the email, so might have just been somebody from the team. So, yeah, I just thought I'd make this quick video here because this was brought to my attention earlier today and I honestly don't know what to think of it. I mean, I I can't really... I mean, I've seen a lot, don't get me wrong, like in the, in the NDA, NDA version of the game, but I don't know for sure if when the game actually does release, like full release, I'm not talking the beta, when it, you know, goes full release, I don't know if it's going to be worth that $60 mark. But, well, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Because I really think this is an interesting turn of events and they decided not to actually tell anybody you know, through their Twitter or Facebook or anything. Like, I didn't see any messages of this. This was just kind of like, oh, well, now it's on the website. Kind of like underhanded sort of thing. I mean, I've heard rumors that there's going to be an update sometime on the 30th of April. Not sure if that's true or not, but maybe that's when they're going to announce this. I don't know. But yeah, like, tell me your thoughts. Like, honestly, $40 for me is like just the right price for the game. But I guess what, I, I really have to see like what comes out later on down the line for it, you know, to really deserve that $60 mark. But uh, yeah, tell me what you think down below. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover these types of games. Be sure to like the video, comment, share, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. If you're someone that wants to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.